Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today is the 5th of fall, which is actually Elliot's birthday, which I almost forgot about in the last episode. I'm so glad I remembered because um, I noticed that we have one more sweet pea left, so I thought maybe if we find him somewhere around the town, we could give him that for his birthday. I think he would enjoy that. <laughs> I've also noticed though that our uh, jam is ready. This should be our orange jam or orange jelly. Okay, <laughs> that works too. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm not exactly sure who would like the jellies. Maybe Gus. Maybe Gus would like some jelly for uh, for a gift. We should try that out. We'll give it a, a quick try if we can find him in today's episode too. And hello, Daisy. <laughs> we have so much to water here. There is so much to uh, water, which is it's a good thing that we upgraded our copper uh, watering can here because that'll make it a little bit faster. But first, I want to take a look at this letter up here. Let's see who this is from. Greetings, Jess. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. SVT. So that must be Stardew Valley Tribune. So uh, that's like the newspaper. Our little farm, Cattail Farm, is going to be in the newspaper in Stardew Valley. How cute is that? <laughs> so I guess um, I will quickly water all of our crops here, and then we'll uh, go try to find Elliot. And I'll see you when uh, I'm done. Okay, there we go. That's all of our crops watered. Oh my goodness, that is so much work. <laughs> but it'll be worth it because once all of those grow, we will probably get a quite a bit of gold from each one. So hello, Fluff. <laughs> and hello, little Quill. And let's feed our chickens for the day. Um, they left us eggs again, which is good. I still, uh, I think we gave Marnie um, all of the gifts that we can this week. So we can't uh, go down there and give her one of the eggs today. But uh, we'll keep one on here. Hand so we can give it to her later. I know some of the other townspeople seem to like the eggs as well And uh, we wanted to try giving one to um, To Shane so maybe we'll uh, give that a try today if we can find him and also this amethyst we need to find Sebastian <laughs> He is uh, eluding us this season. I just can't seem to find uh, where he goes during the day But hopefully we'll run into him as we um, search for Elliot as well to give him his uh, birthday sweet pea And the other thing that we need to do today is go down to the beach and uh, start fishing because we have this little quest up here from the quest board or the job board whatever they call it <laughs> To catch a uh, three sardines So I thought today might be a good day to uh, go down to Willie's shop and oh Sam! <laughs> Sam is on a skateboard. We'll go down to Willie's shop and uh, actually upgrade our fishing pole. But first we're going to talk to Sam because I've never seen him doing this before. Sam's trying to do a kickflip. That's it. <laughs> okay, Sam, you keep trying. I'm sure you'll uh, get the hang of it eventually. Um, let's take a look on the beach. We'll see if uh, Elliot is down there. Sometimes he seems to like to go into the forest and uh, wander around, so I'm not sure if he'll be down here right now. This is his house. Oh, there he is, okay. <laughs> He's right next to his house today, so hi, Elliot. My legs are stiff from sitting at my writing desk all morning. Oh, Elliot's a writer. I actually didn't know that. We I don't know too much about Elliot, do we? <laughs> well, maybe this will help. Here you go, Elliot. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. <laughs> he seemed really happy with that, so I am glad. I had a feeling he would like um the flowers. Oh, look at that. We don't have trash today. <laughs> we have uh, something different in our little crab pot. I brought our bait so we can fill that back up again. Um, we'll just pop that in there. We have one more crab pot to go take a look at, which I believe is um, up by Robin's house. So we'll have to go, go check that too after we're done at the beach for the day. Um, I think in the next episode, we're probably going to um, go into the mines. But oh my goodness, I just remembered we need to go pick up our pickaxe. <laughs> our pickaxe should be done. Um, we gave it to Clint to upgrade it so we could uh, possibly go through the mines a little bit faster because it was taking quite a while to uh, break open the things in the uh, deeper portions of the mines. But how much does a fiberglass rod cost? 1,800 gold, which uh, we do have, so we're just going to buy it. <laughs> we're just going to uh, go ahead and purchase that because I think it'll help us in the long run. And uh, we can actually attach bait to this. So let's see if this works. Um, there we go. I think it did. If you hover over your fishing rod with um, your bait and you right click with your mouse, then it'll attach the bait, which um, I had a little bit of trouble with. I think it works the same as um, our slingshot. So we'll have to remember that once we uh, pick up our slingshot again, we just need to right click over it to add the ammo or uh, in this case, the bait. But let's run over to
to cleanse very, very quickly and pick up our pickaxe so we don't forget about that. <laughs> because he's almost closed now. And uh, then we'll have that to uh, adventure in the mines with. Hi, Clint. Do you have my pickaxe? There we go. Our copper pickaxe. So now we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> we received our copper pickaxe um, for the day. So, oh, look at this. Here's uh, Penny walking the kids home again. Hi, Penny. <laughs> oh, she's going behind the tree. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to us today. <laughs> oh, there's Jazz. Do you like my bow? I do, Jazz. It's a very nice green bow. And Penny really doesn't want to talk to us. <laughs> Fall is a sad time of year for me. Oh, no. Penny, I wonder why. I'm sure we'll learn eventually. She'll probably, she's just not ready to tell us just yet, but she'll probably tell us eventually why um, fall is so sad for her. So let's go back to the beach and see if we can catch any um, fish, any sardines for Willy. We need to somehow catch three. I uh, I hope we're going to be able to. Since we have our bait now, I figured we'd um have a bit better luck, most likely, uh, catching fish. But this is our first time fishing with um, our new fiberglass rod and our bait so let's cross our fingers that it works out for us i think we usually caught uh some sardines down here in the past so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we'll be catching more than seaweed and trash oh there we go that's actually a fish okay let's see is this going to be a sardine Oh no, there's a treasure chest way at the top. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get that. <laughs> that is way too far away from this fish. Um, oh, it's an anchovy again, okay. Uh, we got an anchovy in the last episode when I was trying for sardines. I'm, <laughs> and we just keep getting seaweed too. I'm really not sure if we're going to be able to uh, find sardines down here today. We're having uh, some rotten luck with that. Come on, little fish. <laughs> there we go, there's a fish. Um, let's hope for a sardine. Let's hope that this is one. Oh my goodness. He dropped right down to try to trick me there. This guy's very lazy. <laughs> what is that? That's a sea cucumber? Okay. That's a strange one. <laughs> We've never seen that before. Is that actually a fish? I guess so. It uh, was certainly acting like a fish. Oh, Willy! Willy's leaving a shop. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess he closed up for the day. Um, that's not a good sign for us, though, is it? Well, here's another fish. Maybe this will be a sardine. Oh, there's a, uh, a little treasure chest, too. I think we can actually get this one. There we go. We managed to get that one, and that was a perfect catch. And it was a sardine. Okay. <laughs> Things are looking up, I guess. And we got some more bait, so that's good. I definitely like to see that. We're uh, using up quite a bit of our bait right now, actually, because it uses um, one piece each time we fish, it looks like. Oh, there's another fish. There we go. Our luck is turning around, but this guy's quite fast. Um, let's see if we can catch him. <laughs> well, now he's just sitting on the bottom again. They seem to wear themselves out uh, pretty quickly, which is good for me. I'm not complaining. There's another sea cucumber. Oh my gosh, those guys are so strange. <laughs> it looks like a little slug or something. And some more seaweed, of course. I don't remember seeing the sea cucumbers in uh, the Junimos little bundles, so I don't think that's something we need to give to them. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think so. <laughs> and soggy newspaper. All right. I'm going to try one more time, and if we don't get another sardine... Okay. <laughs> one more time, because that was too fast. <laughs> if we don't get another sardine, then I'm just going to have to give up for the day, because it is getting a bit dark, and um, I don't want to waste the entire day just waiting for sardines. So let's see what this is. Is it going to be another sea cucumber? <laughs> or are we going to get lucky? Let's see. Okay, another sea cucumber. So apparently sea cucumbers are very plentiful in the fall time at the ocean. <laughs> Who would have thought? Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish that quest, but at least we got one sardine. I guess that's pretty good. And uh, we did quite a bit of fishing, so maybe we'll be well on our way to uh, leveling up in that skill. But let's see who's in. Uh... Oh, it's very lively in the saloon today. I had a feeling because it's Friday night. And hopefully, there he is, Sebastian is over there. Okay, Sebastian. Let's see if you like our amethyst. Yes, he has a smile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, I like this. This is the first time I've seen Sebastian smile at a gift that we've given him. Oh, that is a relief. That is a load off. We finally found something that Sebastian likes. I am so happy. <laughs> so let's see. Um, we wanted to give Shane this egg too. Let's see if he likes this. 
There we go, that big smile, that Shane smile. This is great, thanks. I had a feeling that he would like the eggs because uh, he seems to really like the chickens that live on uh, it within Stardew Valley. Let's see, is there anything else that we can uh, give to these people? Um, do you think Willy would like one of our sea cucumbers? Like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's a fish, oh gosh. We uh, get less energy if we eat this. A slippery, slimy creature found on the ocean floor. Um, I'm not so sure about that anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I want to give that to him, but let's uh, give Gus one of our um, orange jellies because we wanted to see if he would like this. It's an artisan product and uh, he seems to like stuff like that. There we go. Oh goodness, are you sure? Of course I am, Gus. <laughs> of course I am. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure we can't give anything to Marnie, but we'll give it a try anyway. Yeah, we've already given Marnie two gifts this week and that's enough apparently. <laughs> that's more than enough. Um, do you think maybe Lewis would like some jelly too? We haven't given him many things lately and I, I still want to uh, make sure that we're good friends with Lewis. So here you go, Lewis. Thanks, this is great. Okay, he seems to like that quite a bit. This is uh, pretty good. We need to remember to come into the saloon on Friday nights so we can just give gifts to everyone in the town <laughs> because everyone seems to be here. Um, do you think anyone would like this, the mussel or uh, ah, the sea cucumber? That is so strange. I'm afraid to give that to anyone because uh, I don't want to offend them with this uh, harmful creature <laughs> of the ocean floor. Um, let's see. Who would like our other egg? We need to find somebody who would like our other egg. <laughs> um, let's give it to Robin. Thank you, this might come in handy. Yeah, we haven't given Robin, I don't think we've given her any gifts at all, so I thought that might be a, a good idea. And uh, maybe that's enough, maybe that's good. <laughs> I'm not sure if anything else in our inventory would be a suitable gift, but we're going to follow Robin up here because our other crab pot is actually um, up by her house, so we need to go check that too and refill it with bait. Um, so it can possibly catch something else in the uh, next episode. We'll have to check that out. I do think in the next episode we'll probably go down to the mines and try to gather up some more iron and uh, maybe some copper as well. Oh, looks like we're, oh, we're getting a uh, little scene with Linus. This is our first one with Linus. Oh, he has a little kitty face. <laughs> Jess, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Okay, Linus. <laughs> it must be a little bit cold because it is fall. He probably has a little uh, chill right now. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Oh, what's worrying you, Linus? <laughs> I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. I can understand that. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Oh, thank you, Linus. <laughs> we have a little kitty face, too. Thank you. That's good to hear. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Oh, in his little tent? <laughs> uh, what on earth? <laughs> There's like slime sounds in there. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. Oh, it's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Really? <laughs> Here, I want you to have the recipe. Oh, there we go. That's perfect, actually, because uh, we just got that fishing pole, learned how to craft wild bait. Oh my goodness, that's great. So uh, we can craft a new type of bait. Let's uh, take a look at that, actually. Um, let's see, wild bait. Where would the wild bait be? Can I not uh, see it right now? Oh dear, maybe it's something that uh, we actually need to cook in our kitchen. <laughs> Is that true? I mean, they did say it's a recipe, I suppose. So, oh my goodness, did I get a broken disc in this? I seriously did. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll put um, some bait in here and we'll try to catch something a little bit better next time. But that's great. Uh, Linus actually considers us a friend now. I was getting worried because every time we talk to him, he seems to be uh, so suspicious of us. He acts like we uh, want something from him, so that is good to see. Um, I think we can just go into his tent, too. Like, he can't tell us to get out of here, can he? <laughs> Hi, Linus. You can learn a lot from trees. Spend time with them, and they might tell you their secrets. Ooh. Go in peace, young one. <laughs> I wonder if uh, he knows the secrets of the forest, too, which we learned from uh, the wizard, in fact. He uh, had us drink some green goo. <laughs> some green juice to learn the uh, secrets of the forest. Maybe they know each other. I've never thought of that before. Maybe uh, they know each other. And there's Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. We didn't actually talk to you, did we? Yawn. I was up until three reading this new book. Do you read, Jess? 
Yep, the classics. Only sci-fi and fantasy. I like a good romance or no, I don't read books. <laughs> Let's say, yep, the classics. I think you'll like that. Oh yeah, hmm, not really my thing, but everyone's different, I guess. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe he's more into sci-fi, I don't know. But uh, that's good. Now we know that he reads, and we also know that Penny reads. Maybe uh, they spend some time together in the library. We'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe that would be a good place to uh, search for him next time we need to find uh, Sebastian. We'll take a quick peek in the library and see if he's reading any books. But let's uh, quickly run back to Cattail Farm now and uh, unload our pockets because we have quite a bit from uh, all of our fishing during the day. We'll put it in the bin to sell most likely so we can get some extra gold after we spent so much on our fiber class rod. And uh, then we will end out the day because it's getting very, very late too. It's uh, almost midnight. So let's pop some of our stuff in here. Our anchovy, our sardine, which we unfortunately could not give to uh, Willy. And our sea cucumbers too, because I'm not sure what we would do with those. Those are a bit suspicious. <laughs> we'll put our coral and our sea urchins in there. We'll uh, throw our broken CD in there too, because why not? And our mussel too. Um, I guess we could throw our seaweed in there as well, because I uh, don't really have anything to do with it yet. <laughs> So I guess uh, we should probably head back inside and tuck Jess into bed and say goodnight to Daisy too. Good night, little Daisy. <laughs> There we go. So in the next episode, what I would like to do is go into the mines and try to gather up some more iron so we could possibly make some more crab pots. I would like to fill our ocean with crab pots so we can finally catch some sort of crab. Surely the purpose of crab pots is to catch crabs, right? <laughs> and I know the Junimos have a crab pot bundle, so I would love to catch some more things that we can donate to the Junimos. So that's what we'll do in the next episode. And thank you guys so much for watching this one. I'll see you all next time. Bye.